last last game at the old Fulton County Stadium against the Seahawks. You won that. Let's mm -hmm. take a look at that game. Go oh, ahead. man. Video, we never lost to the Seahawks. Either, <laughs> either, either play. Yesterday we were in the top. Oh, he says, look at our team picture. He says, this is what it's all about. Not your normal team picture. Jerry Glanville wanted everybody in the team picture. It truly is a family atmosphere here in Atlanta. Not the well, girlfriend. It's, it's not the not Adams family, but uh, <laughs> these guys are getting pretty scary, and they're starting to get everyone's attention around the NFL. Stop, we're in trouble, and we're going to get him in the end zone. We got him in the end zone. To go back to what Jerry Glanville told us yesterday, we don't call plays from the sideline. We make suggestions. We give them to Chris Miller, and then it's up to him. He's going to throw a bomb to a man in the corner. Touchdown! Whips it across. Intercepted by Dion on the 38. A lot of people aren't sure the Falcons are for real, but when you keep pressure with that sort of thing and you play with that sort of confidence every week, good things happen. And the Falcons are in the playoff for the first time since Lehman Bennett coaching with Bartkowski at quarterback in 1982. Touchdown, Dion! <laughs> man, 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 what an athlete. Yeah. Wish I could dance like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got the job, and I switched Dion's... Uh, believe it or not, a safety and a punt returner. And Scott Case is a corner. Mm -hmm. So I tell him uh, tell him downstairs that he's, and Dion De comes, he goes, I don't want to be a corner. I guess it's not up for a vote. I said, I appreciate it. Which side, I'll let you pick which side. You want right <laughs> or left? He goes, they run left? They go, yeah. He goes, I'll be the right corner. <laughs> and then Scott Case comes mm -hmm. up, he goes, I'm in the Pro Bowl. Right. Uh, I'm a corner. I goes, you're not a corner anymore, son. You're a safety. He goes, well, they told me he had an open door policy. I said, it do. The door is open. Get the hell out. <laughs> Became the best safety. That, yeah, that's the best that's safety. what those guys were. I mean, it, awesome. it, it yeah. just, yeah, you, you watch how they play. Uh, uh, they made me look like a whole lot better coach than I was because <laughs> they, wow. they loved it and they knew how to play. Wow. And, Robert, you all had the Seahawks to 13 points in that game. You said that was the fastest, you know, touchdown oh, that, you, uh, you that, saw. Can you, yeah. can you describe the, the, the feeling, the emotions of that game? Uh, you know, the way Dion played, man, he was so fast, you know, and you saw he took, we always practice when we in ladder the ball. We get an in, uh, interception, <laughs> we always lateral. That's yeah. right. We lateral back to each other. We want to keep the game going, go put pressure on them. And you saw he took the the pitch from Makar and he started up the field, Takes man. Off. I was rushing the, the quarterback at the other end. <laughs> So he's down, what was it, about the 30, 30 down yeah. here? I'm down to about the 25 at the other end. And before you knew it, he was like, boom. <laughs> and before I could react, did a second react to try to get a block, he went right by my butt and was going into the end zone. And hit me, and I talked about it the next day. I said, damn, that's the fastest touchdown I've seen in my career right there. That's, wow. that's, that's awesome. how fast that dude was, you know what I mean? And that's how we played. You know, and we do that to that day. Today we teach the same thing. We teach the so. same stuff. Oh, y'all still love it. Y'all still teach that now? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, pitching the, the ball. Oh back? yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. In fact, June, we play. June Jones is all part of these people, and we ended up <clears> dying <throat> laughing. Ended up at Hawaii, <laughs> coaching Hawaii, and uh, we, you know we're pretty good, and we're going to bleat Purdue's going to win the Big Ten that year. They're the number one team, Big Ten, and we're going to beat them, and. Uh, they got one more. I goes to the linebacker, go to the curl, sit in the curl, <laughs> throw the ball. There's 40 seconds left. And I says, that, that's the game, take a knee. And here's my old play. What did you say, Jerry? <laughs> I said, well, he goes, take a knee, start pitching it. <laughs> because that's what we yeah, always what did. We, do, we, did man. we did that in New Orleans when we beat him in the playoff game. You gotta you know, we got to pick exactly late. All we have to do is fall yeah. down. Game's yep. over. We kneel it down. Game's around. Uh -oh. so yeah. We get a pick and we're pitching that we sucker around. around. Joe yeah. Fish back yeah. in here. Joe Fish back again. Yeah. He, he scores, but I think that, 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 that last count. pitch, that, well, the Dion who pitched he it forward, forward, yeah. forward, yeah. forward yeah. 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 That still was, was fun. That, was, our, that was our personality. That's, that was the though, attitude. Yeah. What do you remember about that stadium, the Fulton County Stadium? I'll tell you what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about I didn't it. like playing there. Early fall, I never liked playing there because of the baseball. We shared it with the Braves. <laughs> and we had a dirt infield. Oh. And then when you make a tackle in sand. Lay down the dirt. Yeah, but the dirt, man. You make a tackle in sand is in your helmet, scratching your forehead. I used to hate it. Well, and, the, and the fans sat too far back. Yeah, it was yeah. a baseball stadium. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And so they had to put the 
football field right in the middle of it. So and it's tough in Atlanta. You know, at that time we wasn't winning. So we, I don't know if we ever sold that place out. Not you know, many times. And I tell you, in years past when yep. the Braves wasn't doing so well, they would, uh, you know, when they finished before October, they'd put patches of grass over there. But yeah. this, this year, 91, they they played well into the playoffs that year. Uh -huh. So we had to share the field with them well into the season. Uh -huh. And so the dirt was still out there. Yeah. <laughs> I used to stand on the mound because the mound was on our sideline. And I'd stand on the center of the mound and look down onto the field because I can look over everybody right. else. And stand <laughs> on the mound. Yeah. So, but, I mean, the, the problem with it was just the field. <clears throat> I was so glad that uh, the following year we were going into the Dome. So that yeah. last game, the Seattle game, yeah. It was the last game in Fulton County Stadium because we were prepared to go into the Dome for next year. But what I liked about Fulton County, mm -hmm. and I learned this the hard way, we sold tickets by twos and fours. We came to the Georgia Dome, they sold them to corporations. Mm -hmm. So the guys were buying them 100 tickets, 50 tickets. Mm -hmm. Well, then they invite you in. Well, now you're a guest of the 100 tickets and you're like this. The people in Fulton County that Party. bought their tickets. Yeah, they, true fans. Fans. they were true fans. They were and, true fans. And they may not have yeah. been sober, but I love them. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 And see, that's what it was like for me. Right. It was an environment to where they wanted to party. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they so don't a lot forget, of teams, right. when we played the Saints, their crowd would come. Yeah, and be and they were nice. drunker than our crowd. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And there was no stadium like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, but... Uh, that's what I remember about it. You know, yeah. I knew the, right. the Raiders are coming down. They think they're going to do this or that. Seattle, yep. it wasn't happening. We won some games there. Yeah. That's yes, what I remember. And you, and you think the, the environment caused other teams to they would come in and party the night before you? Hello. You say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just eight, saying. It's the ATL. It's the ATL. ATL. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bars stay open until 4. There's it's just a, a few spots to go. Fun place. Visit. So, you know, and, and the atmosphere is just right. I mean, I get it. I used to get excited to walk in there before the Absolutely. game. For me, it was, it was special. Yeah. You know what I mean? Coming out of Houston, the House of Pain now, that was a special joint too. Yeah. But it was a difference coming here to Fulton County. It was something special yeah. for me. And I think it was special because we changed it, you know, from the late 80s, mm -hmm. 90, yeah. it started building when right. you got here. But 91, mm -hmm. you know, we looked forward to Attitude. game day and it was so electric in there, man. Attitude. You could see the, how much fun people were having Absolutely. in there. And they would yeah. identify you by your car when you rolled into the players' parking lot. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was pretty so you cool. pull into yeah. the players' parking lot, and there'd be barbecues going, and they'd offer you beers before the game. <laughs> <laughs> some wings, and we drank some shit. Chicken, <laughs> <whatever. laughs> so good. we're walking through there, and they're just loving you up. So it was, you know, it was cool. you felt invested with the fans. Yeah, it was and cool. Then you'd get in that stadium, we'd start playing. We didn't care about our lock. We didn't care you walked down through a dugout to get up to the field. Yeah. We didn't care about the dirt, man. It was like, all right, our fans are here. They got our back. Let's go ball. Let's put on a show. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm talking about.